CS OrthoTrack What's New video for version 14.0. Hi, I'm Uriah Robinson, Product Line Manager for CareStream Dental's OrthoTrack software. We're super excited to share with you the enhancements in version 14. They help address the growing needs of orthodontic practices and to improve patient treatment, version 14 was created with direct feedback and guidance from doctors. The highlight of version 14 is the complete redesign of the treatment card. We've added some new features and functionality with an intuitive interface along with a patient insight panel and a multi-treatment progress bar. We've also introduced a brand new feature in this version of the software, the Universal Aligner Tracker, which enables better planning and monitoring of the treatment pathway for those patients who would like to use aligners, regardless of the manufacturer. Because version 14 requires less clicks to access information in the treatment card, it gives you more time to engage with your patient, to drive compliance, and to improve the overall patient experience, each of which helps to improve your operatory turnover to see more patients and ultimately to generate more revenue. Version 14 demonstrates CareStream Dental's aim to generate innovative solutions to not only enhance your patient's experience, to improve workflow, and ultimately to help you to better manage your practice. Treatment Card Enhancements The treatment card interface has been redesigned to include all treatment-related information on one screen. This new interface better reflects the clinical pathway of patient management in today's orthodontic practices. While many enhancements have been made to the treatment card, we'll highlight a few of the most significant features in this video. First, the new widescreen format provides an expanded view of patient information, reduces clutter, and offers improved readability. We recommend using monitors with a resolution of 1900 by 1080 for optimal viewing. Please note, however, if you've been using customized views, you must reset them at each workstation to continue using them. The Patient Insight panel on the left side of the treatment card, accessed by clicking the down arrow in the progress bar, provides multi-phase treatment tabs that reflect the phase one, monitoring, and full treatment progress of the patient. Please note that if you use the Zulke Financial Module, only the full treatment tab is visible. The phase one and monitoring tabs are not displayed. The full treatment and phase one treatment tabs include a color-coded treatment progress bar that is displayed at the top of the section. It provides an at-a-glance reflection of historical treatment progress due to delays or patient noncompliance in relation to the start and estimated completion date. A gray bar reflects no treatment progress. This means that no treatment dates have yet been entered for the patient. A green bar reflects treatment currently in progress. The length of the bar indicates approximately how far along the patient's treatment is from the start date to the estimated completion date. A solid red bar displayed below a solid green bar reflects treatment that is overdue. This means that the treatment is still in progress but has passed the estimated completion date. The full treatment and phase one treatment tabs also provide the start, estimated completion, and completion dates, as well as patient compliance information. The appointment compliance section reflects the number of missed, canceled, and changed appointments, as well as the number of completed appointments, with procedure codes related to broken brackets and wires and lost appliances. Compliance information can help staff to better understand why treatment time may be longer than the estimated time. From the Monitoring Treatment tab of the Patient Insight panel, you can now add, edit, and delete multiple recall appointments for the patient. Previously, it was only possible to make a recall appointment from the scheduler. Located in the lower left corner of the TX Card tab of the Treatment Card are functional tabs to document and track mechanics, documents, events, and aligners, providing clinical staff the ability to add and view real-time content without leaving the Treatment Card. Each tab enables you to add multiple entries. For instance, on the Mechanics tab, you can enter and track multiple appliances and elastics. Each entry includes a duration tracker that reflects how many weeks the patient has had the appliance. 
The Aligner Tracking tab enables you to assess the treatment plan and the compliance of patients who use aligners, regardless of the aligner manufacturer or brand. If you use Windows 8 or 10 on your workstations, you can now apply spell check to notes added to the Today's Visit Notes section of the TX Card tab and to the Notes tab. Start Date Terminology A universal change in version 14.0 is the use of the term Start Date in place of Band Date. This more accurately reflects the start of treatment for all patients in the practice, not just those who are banded. This terminology change was made throughout the software, but most notably in the patient information, patient tracking, financial contract and payment plans, the contact expert, carrier maintenance, the right-click tooltips of the clipboard and appointment scheduling, patient maintenance, and in the light bar tooltip. Scheduler shading. The scheduler has been enhanced with gray shading on every other month in the calendar, making it easier to identify the end of one month and the beginning of another. This new shading does not interfere with the existing color coding of appointments in the scheduler. Patient Information Card Saving In version 14.0, when you make changes to the patient information card and you select X to close the window, you are prompted to save your change before exiting. Editing Collection Letters You now have the ability to edit collection letters directly from the Collections Activity window. Click the New Letters button at the bottom of the window to access, post, and edit collection letters. Standalone Light Bar to provide greater usability of the light bar, version 14 uses the standalone light bar that was introduced in version 12. The standalone feature is the new default for all workstations and offers a real-time view of workflow performance outside of the treatment card and the patient information card. Among the enhancements are additional indicator lights that reflect a patient's remaining time in the chair if the doctor is finished with a patient and if a call is made for another doctor. This concludes the What's New video for CS OrthoTrack version 14.0.